Joining me now is Democratic Senator Mark Spreitzer. Senator, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Democrats have pushed for redistricting reform for a long time. This bill has redistricting reform. Why the opposition from the party? First of all, we can't trust Robin Voss to suddenly change his mind after over a decade of opposition for any good reason. Uh, the fact is he thinks that this will be able to get him out of a Wisconsin Supreme Court case that might actually overturn his gerrymander and set a standard against partisan gerrymandering. But the other fact is uh, that the bill that Robin Voss is putting out uh, is not actually the bill that Democrats have uh, put forward most recently. Uh, there's some key changes uh, and some real loopholes that Robin Voss can explore to make sure that we don't actually get fair maps. And walk me through the change that is, is causing issue for Democrats. Uh, there's a couple of things. One is uh, we have uh, put forward a requirement that if you're going to amend the maps that the Legislative Reference Bureau draws, that you have to have a three-fourths vote, a, a super, super majority. Uh, and that's critical because Republicans have uh, a two-thirds majority right now in the state Senate and nearly that in the state Assembly. And so guaranteeing that they can't just use this process to ram through another gerrymander is critical. That's not in the bill that Robin Voss has put forward. The other thing is uh, the proposal that Democrats have supported was never intended to address an existing gerrymander. It was always intended to be used uh, in the once every decade normal redistricting process. And the default there, if there's a stalemate and you don't actually agree on a new map, is you go to court and the court imposes a map. The default right now, if there's a stalemate through this process, is the existing Republican gerrymander staying in place. And I believe that is Robin Voss's goal, uh, is to just keep the existing gerrymander and uh, never actually agree on a fair map through this process. The bill that passed out of the Assembly had seven amendments. One of those was that there needs to be a bipartisan vote in order for the map to pass if there were rejections of the first couple. So that's not OK with you. It is still a simple majority, but it is a bipartisan agreement. That's not something Democrats can get behind. I think that's a clever attempt by Robin Voss to offer an alternative to the three fourths vote requirement that doesn't actually provide meaningful protections. Bipartisan could just mean that they pick off one Democrat by offering them a district map that uh, makes their district safe. Uh, that's not how this ought to be. Voters don't want politicians agreeing to maps that protect them individually. They want to get politicians out of the process and have maps where voters actually get to choose who their elected officials are on fair competitive maps. And so uh, having an incentive where one Democrat, uh, you know, joining Republicans suddenly passes a map, that's just an invitation for corruption and self-serving action. This bill is headed to the Senate. You are a senator and you will be considering this coming up in the future. There will is there going to be a hearing on this bill before it heads to the Senate floor? There hasn't even been a hearing on this bill in the assembly and it already passed the assembly floor. Uh, that is not the normal process. I've not heard any indication of whether the Senate is going to take this up at all, much less have a hearing, but there should be a hearing. Uh, every bill normally has a public hearing and there are critical problems with this bill that advocates who've been working on nonpartisan redistricting for decades could point out at a public hearing. And I think that's exactly the reason Republicans aren't holding one. Republicans seem open to amendments, though. So should this come before the Senate? What changes would you propose? Would you propose enshrining the Supreme Court's involvement in the in the law as well as a three fourths majority vote on the maps? I don't think this is a serious proposal, so I'm not looking to try to amend it. I think right now we have a case before the Wisconsin Supreme Court challenging the existing gerrymander and looking to set a standard against partisan gerrymandering. And if that lawsuit is successful, then we will have a strong basis going forward to actually figure out how to set up a fair process for drawing fair maps. But if you're talking about what's wrong with this bill, uh, first of all, uh, it doesn't actually get rid of the underlying maps that we have right now. So you'd have to start there and say that the current maps cannot be used in any future elections. And then second, uh, the lawsuit is asking for odd numbered senators like myself to actually have to run in special elections next year because we were elected on the current unconstitutionally gerrymandered maps. Uh, this bill doesn't do that. So uh, you'd have to put the entire state Senate up for election on any new map next year. And you'd have to guarantee that the current map can't be used in any future election. And I absolutely don't think Republicans are willing to do that. Senator Spritzer, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me.